There have been some recent rumors of Halo Infinite's release date in 2021 and 343 responded to it. And when can we actually expect this release date? We'll stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving our news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news and informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know if you want to see some more content like this and it greatly helps out the channel so more people get a chance to see this video and stay in the know with everything going on with Halo. Ever since the announcement of the delay of 2021 for Halo Infinite, a lot of people have been kind of speculating about when this game is going to be released. We get a lot of information from other sources beyond 343, but they are credible. A lot of it being from the Mega Constructs reveals of the various toys and things like that for weapons and characters that are gonna be in this game. So the community, forever thirsty for any kind of information, for concrete news and stuff like that, there's been some recent leaks going on about the release date for Halo Infinite. Right now, if you go on Amazon's website, it says this item will be released on December 31st, 2021. Now this news quickly spread around the uh, Twitter sphere, if you will. A lot of people tweeting this out saying, this is the release date, my mind's blown, can't believe I wait a year and a half essentially from today till this game is actually released. And trust me, there were notable people within the Halo community were tweeting this out, shocked at this being the release date. I'm assuming the reason why these release dates have been coming out since the pre-orders and release date of the Xbox Series X and S has been revealed, and obviously a lot of people are gonna wanna be pre-ordering Halo along with their pre-orders for the new Xboxes. And Microsoft not trying to miss out on the pre-order hype along with the new consoles that they wanna be able to pre-order Halo Infinite as well, which you can for multiple outlets, most notably Amazon and Best Buy and as well as on the Microsoft website. So with the community up in hype of going, oh my God, this is the release date for Halo Infinite, 343's community director, Sketch, put the record straight and went on Twitter and said this. PSA, we haven't locked on release date for Halo Infinite yet. Anything you see on retail sites is just placeholder slash speculation. And I would think that'd be kind of self-evident right there by itself. Uh, no game has ever released on December 31st. Uh, people are generally pretty busy on those nights and it'd be pretty detrimental to the sales of Halo Infinite to release on the New Year's Eve. That just wouldn't make sense at all. Plus the whole reason why these games release in the fall and winter time is because they want to get those sales in before the Christmas holiday and all the other various holidays within the U.S. because that's when people are buying a lot of items for gifts and things like that during the holiday season. And if you release on the 31st, you completely miss all of that. Literally all of that you miss, and that just would not make sense from a business standpoint. I looked on Microsoft's website, they do not have a release date for Halo Infinite. I went on the Best Buy's website, which you can pre-order there as well. There is no release date for that as well. So after being a huge bummer, you're probably going, okay, well, when can we expect this game to come out in 2021? Well, first of all, I wanna say you want to watch out for officially Microsoft or Halo's Twitter accounts or news and information straight from them. That's when you will hear the actual release date come from those guys and trust me i will definitely let you guys know on this channel whenever that date is announced i'll let you know as soon as possible trust me right now 343 is trying to work out the details of what they can work on and what they can add to the game given this extra time i'm sure there are a lot of features and items they want to be able to put into the game but obviously there is this deadline they have to meet each game has cut content it just never makes it into it so right now 343 is kind of working out okay so if you do have a spring release what can we change with the game what can we add to the game what do we have to cut from the game basically to meet that deadline and I'm sure they're also kind of doing the same kind of assessments for the fall release as well or possibly even a summer re release on top of that so they're all just kind of working out their options as many of you know the recent news of Joseph Staten joining Halo Infinite's development as a project lead for the story side of things, uh, I would make me believe that this game will most likely release in the fall of 2021. Maybe early fall 2020, maybe like a September or October. Just because bringing on Joseph State in means I feels like to me that there is a lot more work to be done when it comes to making this a cohesive story that can continue on for the next 10 year plan that they're talking about for this game. The optimist in me wants to see a spring release because that means it's just coming out sooner and that means there's less work to be done. 
But if you wait until that fall, you can get a really well polished product. Hopefully, hopefully that's my idea. And remember, there was going to be an RTX patch coming out for Halo Infinite post launch. I believe they mentioned that that happened in the uh, late winter, early spring time. Given this extra time, meaning that they have time to actually have RTX at launch, which I think would be such a major seller for the Xbox console, as obviously Halo Infinite was kind of supposed to be the flagship game for this console to sell. And having RTX available day one it would be absolutely important to have to show a case the amazing graphical features that the Series X can perform. Well, those are kind of things that are up in the air right now when it comes to Halo Infinite. There's a lot of things that 343 is working on right now to see what they can have available at launch and what they need to kind of wait for a later update, things like that. If you guys want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe to the channel, guys, if you want to keep up to date with everything. I mean everything happening with the Halo franchise. We got the TV show, we got MCC, obviously Halo Infinite, and a bunch of other things as well. So I hope you guys like this kind of video. If you've been out of loop for the last few days or so, check out the videos on the screen right over here. Really appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.